Hello everyone, welcome back to Just Plays uh, Tokyo Dark. Um, Jess is tired of being nice, and so is... Cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be- I'm not gonna care about my professionalism, I guess, at this point, since I've already fucking held somebody up in the middle of a police station. Um, so fuck professionalism, I'm doing stuff for me. Um, but yeah, it's- it's fine. I'm sorry I had to break up with you. Saki, but weren't really helping much. So, all right, cool. Let's go back to our apartment and take a pill while we still can. Get our cat. <laughs> Why is our TV on? All right, here we go. Oh, oh, right. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot last time I got a USB um, by just being, being me. Oop. Hmm. Something doesn't smell right. It's a raid on a compound, and all that's left is this lone debriefing? That doesn't add up. Not to mention, so much of what's here is redacted. It's like a fucking SCP file. Officers arriving at the scene found 12 people dead on arrival, including Tokimasa and Mai's parents. Where are the details about how they died? Not to mention the report itself was filed almost a week after the raid, so why aren't there any autopsy reports? It says here, two children and one adult are believed missing. Oh, that must be Mai, Takashi, and their grandmother. Guess that means Takashi was telling the truth after all. So many people have been hiding information from me, it's almost a relief. Still, for such a short report, it raises a whole lot of questions. The list of the dead, their causes of death, if there were other survivors, what else they found, it's all lost. And the location of the compound has been classified. All I know is that the mask was found in the middle of a pile of dead bodies. What the hell happened here? Why was it covered up? Debriefing report. Consider. Uh, reporting officer redacted. I'm gonna guess it's Yukimura. Agency Bureau, redacted, added. Date of incident. On March 4th, uh, 1996. Um, and the report is on March 9th, 1996. Time of incident, probably 5 in the morning. Tasked with raiding compound belonging to cult known as Kamenkai, located in... <laughs> Arrived to discover 12 bodies, DOA, near compound, including cult leader. Uh, Umezawa Shinji, aka Tokimasa. Uh, other bodies included six females and three other males of varying ages, along with two children. Oh, cause of death redacted. Two other children and one adult considered missing may be dead. Other survivors redacted. Oh, interesting. Personal effects collected at the scene of the crime include a mask and several other ritual objects. Raid considered a success. Uh, cult known as Kamenkai's activities have ceased, surviving members of the I'm wondering if he intended this as a, um, like a, a, what's it called? A tip to, to or a nod toward the, uh, to the arm. Which is, I was very unhappy with them because recently Japan's like, oh, we're not going to give out, like, like, plastic bags anymore. Which is the thing that's been happening at uh, supermarkets for a long time. You have to pay for plastic bags, but, like, combinis and stuff now are, have started doing it too. And, uh, like, I don't mind, it's good for the environment, but I do wish that they would cut back on the packaging stuff. Because, like, now I'm left with all of this fucking, like, trash packaging with no bag to keep it in. And there's no fucking public, um, you know, waste bins to put it in. And so I'm like, come on, man. What am I supposed to do with my trash? The report is unclear, but it's obvious something terrible happened at the Kamenkai compound. I'm gonna guess it's in Takai. Takao. I don't know why I said Takai. I'm gonna guess it's somewhere near Takao. Um, because Chris used to live off of the Chuosen. So, it could also be further and, like, actually over the line into... to Yamanashi. No doubt the mask had a part to play in those 12 people's deaths, and one way or another it found its way to Dana afterwards. She could be the other survivor. She said she was searching for the door which means our connection to it is no mere coincidence either. The Collector said the path in the dark would never reveal itself unless I understood her past. The report is a dead end for now. 
but he gave me another lead. A talent agency called Omega in Kabukicho. It's not a whole lot to go on, but maybe I'll find the connection I need to connect the dots. For now, all I can do is go to Kabukicho and ask around. Let me fucking talk to my cat, damn it. Alright, I'm gonna take one pill. So I think I'm at 70 right now, but I should be fine if I drop to 60. Bring my sanity back up to, to stable territory. Alrighty, so now I can go to Chuk. Yep, this looks about right. Hey, you guys should be. Um. The collector mentioned a talent agency by the name of Omega here in Kabukicho with ties to Dana. Unless there's a big sign advertising it, which I highly doubt, I need to ask around to find it. Okay. Girls! Uh, internet cafe. Cute angels. A bunch of host clubs and stuff. Yakitori! Uh, cherry sound cut okay. Oh, yeah, baby! The free on Naijo! That's how you know you're somewhere classy! <laughs> oh, man. I like this, like, thing here, sexy. Based on the dragon motif and the general vibe around the building, I guess this place is no normal bar. Who knows how many other places around here the Yakuza have dipped their fingers into. Quite a few. But I don't want to avoid these bros. Three faces in uniform that I don't recognize. Though I doubt they'll have a hard time recognizing me. The way they're huddled around, it hardly looks like they're doing much police work. More than a few violations probably pass under their noses, but I wouldn't be surprised if someone slips them a bit of cash on the side to ignore them. Perhaps like that probably wouldn't give me any trouble, and they definitely aren't gonna blab to their superiors about seeing me in Kabukicho. Hey, hold up! Don't I know you? Who, me? Yeah, you. Unless you're hiding somebody behind your back. Aren't you the detective whose face was all over town a few weeks back? Yeah, yeah, that's it. How didn't I recognize you before? Hey, guys, didn't someone from HQ come by and ask us about her earlier? Maybe we should call it in. Hold on, Officer Dinjito. You really think that's a good idea? Huh? What are you talking about? I'm not risking my job over some nobody detective. Yeah, well, call it into HQ and you might be risking more than your job, if you know what I mean. You was right. Why should we stick our necks out when she hasn't even done anything wrong? Being on leave doesn't mean she can't walk around, does it? I'm with you. No need to worry. <laughs> I doubt I need to remind you boys what happens when you ruffle the wrong feathers at HQ. You guys can't be serious! Look, I'm not saying we arrest her, only... Only you're going to piss off the wrong people, Denjiro. I don't know much more obvious... Obvious I need to be for you to get it. No one, not even the detective here, is worth bringing down her wrath. Especially right now. Things aren't exactly on stable ground around here since the Mifune family's shakeup. Don't need a repeat of Officer Ono! Oh no! One of my coworkers is named Ono. <laughs> um, and so, like, I'll do that some to her sometimes, and she's like, stop, stop it! <laughs> um, Begged for a promotion one day, and then some anonymous tip comes into HQ that Ono's been selling a little dope on the side. Even got a gun to tie him to the crime scene. Yeah, a gun that's mysteriously gone missing from evidence. Think that story is true? Does it really matter if it is or not? Point is, he has too many questions around here, and now he's in jail. Huh. Some police we are. Held hostage by some woman. Ah, <sighs> screw it. Maybe you guys are right. Suppose the guy from HQ asks again, we can say we didn't see any detective tonight. 
That's right. We didn't see you, and we definitely didn't talk to us. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Being on the street around here isn't, ex isn't exactly an easy position to be in, huh? You mean to the bottom? Yeah, it doesn't give a whole, a whole lot of options. Feels like I'm always stuck between HQ and all the other shit going on around here. I'm not sure which is worse, honestly. You read the papers, don't you, Detective? Heard about the Mifune family, right? Yeah, I'm sure she has. And that's all you need to say on the subject. Never know who's working for who around here, so put a lid on it! Listen, Detective, whatever you think we are, or what you think goes on around here, it isn't so simple as good cops and bad cops. Remember that. I just literally fucking held up a co-worker in a hostage situation in exchange for USB. You don't need to tell me this. We could show might not be perfect, but we do our best to keep the peace, right? Right. Right. Like you said, we're trying our best. So don't cause any trouble for us, and we'll return the favor by not letting HQ know about this. Huh. It's plenty scarier than HQ out there. That's for sure. Why don't you move along, detective? I think I'll do more than that. I think I'll do just that. Good luck, officers. Ooh, it's time for me to also find a new a new person for me to hit on. Um, it's time for me to find the sexy crime boss lady. Oh man, I want. I hope that I hope that there's like a post game fucking uh like dating sim I can do. Seems this club is pretty popular. It already has a lot of customers. Maybe talking to some of the regulars would give me a good idea of where to start looking for Omega. Let's get right in. Talk to this girl. Talk to this guy. Probably these guys over here if I move over. Can I start this guy? Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Don't need my permission. You heard of an agency around here called Omega? Omega? Nah, doesn't ring a bell. Why? What's it to you? I'm looking for a missing girl. Missing, huh? Was she foreign? Working for a nightclub? Maybe working for some other kind of, uh, types of clubs? I don't remember asking your opinions on the girl, only if you knew the agency. Either way, answer's the same. I didn't know no Omega, and you probably wouldn't find her even if I did. Girls go missing all the time around here if you catch my drift. Better be more specific? No. I don't. I don't think you delicate types can handle it. Let's just say not everyone here is as nice to the ladies in those places as I am, and leave it at that. Stir the pot with questions like that and you're bound to end up in trouble. So if you want help, go ask someone else. Can I ask you something? Whoa, 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 I wasn't doing anything. You're a cop, right? Nope, you've got me all wrong. I'm looking for a talent agency by the name of Omega. Why, why'd you think I was a cop? Whew. Only cops ask that many questions right off the bat. Well, that in your costume had me fooled. You gotta be careful walking around like that. Oh, I got it. You're some kind of performer, right? What are you doing looking for Omega? Omega's a wash. I don't get any work from them. Worry not, sweetheart. Just so hopens I work for one of the best agencies in town. We handle all types. Models, performers, actors, you name it! Even a mature woman such as yourself will have no problem finding work through us. That is if you're fine with, uh, staying in costume. My lucky day. That's the spirit! Have a drink with me, babe. I'll get you signed right up. I'm sure I can find work for you in no time. Well, like I said, I'm looking for Omega. A friend of mine recommended them, so it'd be rude not to talk to them at least, right? If you ask me, your friend's got no taste. You shouldn't waste your time with those losers. No one's ever seen their guys around- No one's even seen their guys around for months. Word in the streets that they ran into a bit of debt with the wrong people, if you know what I mean. Anyway, didn't hear that from me. You know where I am if you want a real chance, babe. Hey, do you know this area? What? I had a question about- What? Speak up! I can't hear you! 
The speaker's right there! You're gonna have to talk louder! I'm looking for an agency! You're looking for a vacancy? In what? No, and... You're what? I'm looking for information about Omega Talent Agency! Do you know anything? Whoa. I really shouldn't shout things like that around here. Excuse me, miss. We were hoping you might join us next door. Consider it an invitation from an admirer. Besides, it's a much nicer ven venue than this dump. Yeah, in fact, we'd be happy to escort you. Thank you. I mean, it's pretty obvious who you are. Uh... I mean, I have a gun. <laughs> like... <laughs> yeah, whatever. Good answer. Follow us. <gasps> oh, I love you already. Okay. Welcome. Come in. Let me introduce myself. I'm Kasumi Mif- I appreciate you coming by to talk. Hm. Thugs didn't give much of an option. Well, you think you are calling me a thug. We're businessmen, you got that? Oh, I've got it all right. But I don't think addressing in a suit makes you any less of a thug. Say another word, you cop bitch. Enough! You say another word, and I'll make you wish you hadn't. Now get out, both of you. Yes. Now that we're alone, I'd like to confess my love to you. Yes, boss. My apologies. The quality of the help you can find these days is isn't quite up to standard that it was in my father's time. Wild dogs can be difficult to train, but they'll come around. Even if I have to beat them to do it. Sit down, relax. Can I get you a drink? Hmm. Hmm. Well, pretty lady offers me drink. I don't care if she's gonna kill me or not. I'm taking it. Someone's got a glass. Someone get her a glass and one for me as well. Why don't we skip the small talk and tell me why I'm here? I'm getting to that. Seems you're a woman who doesn't like to waste time. Good. As luck would have it, neither am I. Yes! Starts undoing Ty. <laughs> Let's get right to it. A short while ago, a couple of men downstairs ran up to tell me you, a cop, had walked past my bar and into one of my nightclubs. Then I hear you've been sniffing around, asking about one of my investments. Investments? Mean Omega? Smart girl. Tell me, Ayami Ito, why is it that a cop is going around asking pointed questions like that? You're curious still, not just any cop, but a publicly shamed cop on leave. A shamed cop who's had a history of... How did they word it? Ah, yes. A history of psychotic episodes. How do you know all that? We all have friends, Detective Ito. And when detectives are wandering around my part of the city, my friends tell me everything I want to know. Honestly, you don't seem all that crazy to me. As to why you're after Omega, let's say you've piqued my interest. Sorry, look at us. You said no small talk, and here we are off in the bushes somewhere. I... leave it alone. Let's get back on track, shall we? That does remind me of something really funny that my coworker said once. Where somebody on my blog had asked me, like, you know, oh, do you have to shave to use the onsen? And I was like, no, definitely do not. And then I was, like, talking about it the next day at work. And I said to my, my coworker, who no longer lives in, who no longer lives, no longer works in my office, but works in, like, a, a separate office, the one in Tokyo. Um, and I was like, oh, I was like, it's really funny. Like, you know, somebody had asked me on my blog if you had to shave to go into the onsen. And I had never thought about that before. But before I even finish saying what I'm saying, she just yells at the top of her lungs. No, we just go full bush! And I was like, okay. Alright, great. <laughs> As I know you're not acting in any official capacity, it's safe to say that no one knows you're here, correct? No, I suppose they don't. <laughs> in your position, I might have tried to lie, but I appreciate the honesty. It was a rhetorical question, and I know for a fact there's no one coming for you. Funny. You didn't strike me as the stupid type, and yet you've willingly entered a den of vipers. Listen, girl, I'm just here to get laid. If you valued your neck staying on your shoulders, surely you wouldn't do something so reckless. 
You could skip the threats. If you wanted to do something to me, you would have done it already. Plus, you're smart enough to know not to hurt a cop. Even one in my position. <laughs> Good! I like you! Given your prickly demeanor, I doubt you're working with one of my competitors. And you're definitely not here for your police buttons. Okay, I give up. I have to know. What exactly is it you want to know about Omega? I'm looking for this girl. Her name is Nana. I was told she was involved with some agency somehow. I want to know what happened to her. How very noble of you. Figuring that out might be a bit difficult, as I'm afraid Omega is an extremely recent acquisition. To get back further, you'd have to talk to its president and former owner, a man named Eiji Higashi. As it so happens, that makes two of us who would like to have a word with you. Like peas in a pod, us two. Yeah, let me in your pod, damn it. Unfortunately, when we handed over the business, he became a bit... How should I... Forgetful about his under outstanding debts to us. And the poor thing is so scared of me that he's ignoring my calls. Probably think I'd do something awful to him if I found him. Can't imagine how he'd got that idea. Can you? Maybe he'd prefer talking to a police officer instead of talking to me. I'm not some green recruit. I know how this works by now. What's the catch? You'd never tell me where he was and send me on my way for nothing. Of course I wouldn't. You'll have to prove you can be trusted first. What, you need me to shoot somebody? I've shot a lot of people. There's someone else I need you to talk with. I have a softer target than Gashi. Pretty good deal, right? Everything you're looking for in exchange for one little job. Can't you just seduce it out of me? <laughs> oh, don't make this more difficult than it has to be. You'll agree eventually. So why fight it? I know a lot about you. Top of your class, one of the best detectives on the force. You wouldn't let something as pesky as morals get in the way of good information, would you? Well, I mean, like, I'm not exactly kitty but like... I've heard about you too, Mifune Kasumi. Or more accurately, I heard a lot about your father. As you should. My father was a good man. It's not surprising you know more about him than me. That'll change soon. You're just saying you're gonna let me know you better? <laughs> I won't be a foot in this story much longer. My father always undervalued the power of information. And I really get to know the people I associate with. You, for instance. Everything you've done paints the picture of someone who's very determined and very desperate to find this girl of yours. Don't let other people tell you otherwise, Detective. I think those traits are a wonderful combination. However, it also means you don't have a whole lot of bargaining power right now. If you don't want to work with me, that's fine. You can go home and quietly overdose on whatever medication they've got you taking instead. Furthermore, I could just refuse your request altogether, but that'd be so boring. We both need some, so let's help each other instead. Do the job I ask. And I'll tell you what I know about little Higashi. As I was saying, like him, there's another business owner in Akihabara who is unfortunately behind on her payments as well. Oh, okay. Is it the maid cafe or is it, uh, what's her face? The cat. Such a shame, too. I really wanted a straightforward relationship with this one. See, I help out with a few things. And in exchange, she kicks back a little of her business. Sometimes we send over new contracts to renegotiate the terms of our mutually beneficial relationship. Sadly, she's neglected to sign the newest one. I'm a cop, not some Yakuza debt collector. Do it yourself. Uh, uh, uh. Suspended cop. You can't parade your badge around as proof that you're some white knight anymore. Due to you to the recent, uh, transition of power, I can't do it myself just this minute. The dogs at the Tokyo Police Headquarters start panting over me whenever I or any of my men are seen out the side of Kabukicho. I'm not asking you to club someone's head in. I'm merely asking that you give them a friendly reminder to keep up to date on their paperwork. Easy, right? Here, take it. Do this for me, and I'll feel a lot more comfortable giving out information about it. Alright, let's see. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Oh, okay. That's... That's actually not that much money. Like, 4500 bucks? 
is not that bad. Uh, you gotta pay it this month immediately. Make sure that you pay it every month. Damn, it's a classy ass, uh, take you, sure. Also, I'll remind you, with your impending review, it would be unseemly if it got out that you were meeting with Yakuza, wouldn't it? Blackmail, huh? It's such an ugly word. And here I thought we were becoming friends. No, no, I'm just stating the facts of the situation is all. The business you're going to is a cat cafe in Akihabara. Kazu can give you the address on the way out. Wait, a cat cafe? Or... Or what? A cat cafe? What else would it be? Well, a cat cafe or a cat made cafe? What? Are we talking cat cats or people dressed like cats? Cause... Freaking cat cafe, actual cats. Adorable, fluffy, precious cats. Why the hell would I invest in some stupid maid cafe? Cats! Normal cats! We are- mm. God, this game is making it so hard for me to not go for this low-hanging fruit. Will not. Won't. Damn it, now I'm all worked up. Look, get that goddamn contract signed and we'll talk. Take you show. Take you show. I wonder if I could have talked to everybody or, or what? Looks like they've been digging up the sidewalk, but since they're blocking my view, I can't quite see what they're doing. Hey lady, you need something? Nothing to see here, so why don't you move along? Why should I? You said yourself there's nothing to see, after all. Bit of advice for you. I'm trying to keep keep someone from staying out of your business? I wouldn't lead with nothing to see here. See? She thinks so too. Every time you say nothing to see here, people stop and stare at us instead of actually moving. Mm, nothing to see here does kind of make me want to look more, you know? It's kind of sinister. Nothing to see here. So cops say when there's definitely, without a doubt, something we're seeing. Thanks a lot for the advice, boys. Last I checked, it was you who worked for me and not the other way around. Alright, alright, no need to be so damn touchy. All we're saying is that unless you want every passerby in Kabuki Joe stopping to stare at us, you can try zipping it. Zip it? Is that how you talk to your, all your employers? You are aware of who I work for, right? Right? Digging a hole is the least of your worries, so do as I say! These jobs are the worst. What exactly are you guys doing? All of a sudden, I just can't help but wonder what some suit is doing standing by a construction site. <laughs> Have to agree with the little lady on that one. As far as I can tell, we're pulling up a strip of concrete for no damn reason at all. No reason, far from it. It's scheduled maintenance requested by the building's owner. There were some complaints of people falling or getting hurt because of the uneven payment, so my employer generously offered her own money to fix it. Maintenance, huh? Seemed perfectly fine to me until we started hacking into it, and you seem awfully impatient for us to fill it back in. Maybe it's got something to do with that little thing you had wrapped in cloth before? Shut up! Or I'll ask you to dig two more holes after this one. Two more? Oh, I get it. I think that was some sort of threat. Yes, exactly. I mean, what you said wasn't exactly threatening. Honestly, I've heard better. Is he trying to imply he's gonna make us cover ourselves in concrete? What a boring threat. Fine, bad joke. Maybe you two should remember you're being paid very gen generously here, so shut it. And you, miss, would you please kindly move along? As you can see, I'm busy enough with these two without any additional distractions. Mochi mochi, dark boys. All right, let's go see if I can talk to people in the club that I couldn't talk to. Okay. If I went back in there without even trying to go to Akihabara, Kasumi would make me regret it. All right. Well, I guess we're going back to Akiba. Okay. Alrighty. Let's go shake Sachko down for money. Oh, Giovanni's gone. Wonder if those young girls ended up being okay. 
feel like I got what I needed and left them to fend for themselves. <sighs> if only I had more time. No point dwelling on it now. I need to go talk to Sachko at the Cat Cafe. Sometimes when I find my mind drifting off, it sails right to those fluffy pancakes. If I manage to get back to a normal life, I will eat nothing but cat-shaped pancakes for dessert for the rest of my days. No way I could make them as good as they do here, though. Unless I magically become a better cook. Whoops, got distracted by sweet, sweet pancakes. Need to go to the cat cafe and put this nasty business to rest. Um, the other thing, too, is, uh... I, um... Just realize I'm out of time. <laughs> uh, the other thing too that I, I realized also is like um, I uh, the other thing I, I also realized too is like I um, I realized the thing and then I completely forgot it and now I can't remember what I was gonna say because I got distracted by the alarm going off. <laughs> um, Cats. Oh, right. Anyway, what I was gonna say is I'm probably not gonna be able to do that because I'm gonna end up in fucking Fuchu in the prison. But, you know, hey, whatever. Um, I was also gonna say that, like, maybe Daizo could start a cat made cafe and Miho could work there. And it would be beautiful. You know? I, I personally think it would be a very beautiful business investment. Um, okay. All right, I think that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'm going to put a pin in it for right now, and then for tomorrow, we'll go and shake down Sachiko. All right, everybody, talk to you later. Bye!